In this video, I'm taking on the I Saw the Sign map in GeoGuessr. I'm gonna get plopped in some village, town, city, whatever, somewhere around the world, but the catch is, the name of the place is somewhere at the starting point. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Geo Goose YouTube channel where I'm playing I Saw the Sign. I say in every video, oh this is one of my favorite maps, but this truly is. This, Geo Detective, these maps where the clues are there right at the starting point, you don't move, you just have to look around and you're able to basically 5k the location. Love that style of map and this one here is a map, um, I haven't played on this account, I played on my old account a long long time ago. Um, this map of course hasn't been updated since July I believe, um, but this map's been around for a long time and people have played it. Over the, over the years of GeoGuessr. It's always fun, it always hits well, and I hope you guys will really enjoy it. And before we create this challenge link, no moving, three minutes per round for you guys, I want to remind you guys, subscribe to the channel. Just saying it right now, subscribe to the channel. Statistics show that when I tell you guys to subscribe, you do, and it's kind of crazy, <laughs> you know? When I say it, it happens. So thank you very much for those of you who have already, and if you're new, you just stumbled across it, click that subscribe button. There's tons of videos like this. You guys will love all the content I have to post in the future. So let's get right into this. So this map is not easy. Um, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not, but you're always told exactly where you are right off the bat. So immediately, this round here, I know this is Ghana. You see GH, that's the Ghanaian currency. And of course, if you look at the Google car, the black tape on the right front part of the roof rack always shows you're in Ghana. So at the very least, I know the country, which is awesome. Now let's see if we can see the city. Um, I assume it's on this sign since this is what it was zoomed in on. Vodafone celebrating six years as Ghana's best network. Uh, da, da, da. Somewhere here it's got to say it, right? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm just looking for something that says Accra or Kumasi, because I assume it's one of these two. Let's see, all food sympathies. Celebration, uh, da, da, Mr. Something. It's got to say, we also offer Waske remedials in the following. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. City and guilds of London levels. No, 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 no. Uh... Pentagon College, come on, it must have said it, oh, uh, it says, says the building, Swesbu Junction, first floor, but it doesn't say whether this is Accra or Kumasi, and that's what I'm struggling with, because I assume it's one of the two, and if not, oh, there's so many more signs here, hold on, um, let's take a look here, FBM Bank Western Union, oh no, come on guys, we're halfway through the timer, I'm sure we have plenty of time to find something here. Uh, oh no, that says something. Circuit Court. I, does that say Accra? That could say Accra, but I'm, I'm still not really sure. I'm gonna bank on that says Accra, um, because that is the capital of Ghana, and it's, uh, it's quite a big city, so I'm just gonna assume it's there. Oh, Cape Coast. Cape Coast is down. Okay, so this says Cape Coast. Anglican Men's Fellowship, Cape Coast. Does Cape Coast make sense? I mean, it could easily make sense, right? Uh, there's a total gas station. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's Cape Coast. Let's see if there's a Pentagon College in Cape Coast. Let's uh, let's have a look. This, see, I don't know. This is so difficult because the University of Cape Coast, University of Cape Coast Central, St. Augustine's College, um, Academy of Christ the King, Technical University, a lot of universities here. Um, see, this is tough because one thing I've learned about Ghana, let me check the road angle too. One thing I've learned about uh, trying to guess in Ghana, this is very slightly northwest. Does that line up for Cape Coast? I mean, it could. Somewhere here, maybe. But um, one thing about Ghana is I've seen a lot of posters that maybe say Cape Coast when you're actually in Accra. They'll say Kumasi when you're in Cape Coast. This kind of thing. Uh, old Columbia Street? Old something street? I mean, does that say... I'd... Could that be this road? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Ten seconds left. Guys, I saw something that says Cape Coast. Gosh, I hope I didn't miss anything. I've already been embarrassed so many times uh, in, in my series of Road to Pro on rounds where I just missed something super obvious. It wasn't Cape Coast. It was between Cape Coast and Accra. Agona... Agona Swedru. Ah, see, I think I did see something that says Swedru, but I did not recognize it as, as a town. Let's take a look here, because I think this said it, right? No, it says Swesbu. Agona, did that say it somewhere here? You can win a whopping. I mean, maybe it did somewhere, but uh, I didn't see it. Very, very unfortunate. Maybe it said it here somewhere. 
uh, Gamora Senior High. I mean, it gave a bunch of schools and stuff, so maybe if I had more time, I could go through the towns, figure out where I was based on the schools and stuff. But all the same, not too bad. Um, if I had guessed Akra, I might have been... Ah, it's not equidistant. I think Akra might have been a little bit closer, but uh, to be fair, I did see something that said Cape Coast, so I'm happy with that. I couldn't quite 5K it, but oh, it says my country streaks at 4. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that real quick. Uh, we're just gonna leave that one. I don't really... Actually, I'm gonna turn uh, country streak off right now. Uh, we're gonna turn that off. And all right, let's go back here. So this, this is Malaysia, I think, or Indonesia, one of the two. This probably tells me exactly where I am, like literally exactly. The problem is I have no idea how to read it. Um, that's a big issue. So let's take a look around, see if there's any other things that we can use to help us. Tanjun Penang, that I've seen that here and here. So I'm assuming Tanjun Penang is the region I am. I know there's a place called Penang right here, but I don't think that's it's spelled differently so Tanjun Penang is what I'm looking for does that sound more Malaysian or Indonesian I'm really not sure let's take a look see if we can see any like black stickers on the poles or something to indicate that we might be in mainland Malaysia um no so we don't see any so if we are hmm man this pole doesn't have the black and white stripes I'm starting to think that we might be in Indonesia famous rain bolt uh maybe fake maybe not meta when people have helmets you're more likely to be in Indonesia so I'm starting to think we might be in Indo as opposed to Malaysia. Um, I don't know about the license plates, but let's look for Tanjung Penang in Indonesia. Oh, Tanjung Balai. Oh, that's so, so similar. Okay, so we have to be in Indonesia, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's zoom in here. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we got a minute and a half to find this place. Tanjung Bunga. Yeah, 100% Indonesia. Tanjung Pura. Tanjung Morawa could be, be near Medan somewhere. A lot of these names are very similar. But I'm looking for Tanjung Penang. Tanjung Langkat. Oh, I'm probably destroying these names. We're going to click around here. Tanjung Balai. I'm trying to get this whole island here. This seems like a decent sized place. Like, I don't think it's going to be super tiny. Um, so many Tanjung, Tanjung, Tanjung. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Because I only have a certain amount of time, right? Oh no, and this island is so huge. This island is just so, so huge. Uh, Sumatra is is tough. I feel like, I mean, it could be Java as well. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I did see places that were named very similarly to what I'm seeing here. Do I just leave it, guys? That, like, I'm wondering at this point, do I just leave it up here right near Medan, where I saw a bunch of places called Tanjung this, Tanjung that. Uh, Tanjung Pandang, not quite the same. Yeah, I mean, oh, this could be anywhere in Indonesia. I got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds, and I'm sure I could I could have found it if I was looking more efficiently. Uh, the problem is, I'm really not looking that efficiently. Tanjung Marga. Ah, it's going to be somewhere here. Do I guess further south to hedge my bets? I don't think so. This is a lot of just searching. Let's just pray that it's up near where I clicked. I didn't see it, but I saw a lot of places starting with Tanjung. I think it's at least Indonesia. It is Indonesia. I would never have thought to look here. Wow, these islands just off of Singapore, right off the coast of Malaysia. Indonesian islands, and here's Tanjung Penang. Sure enough, it's a pretty big city. I would have found it if I had looked there. Never would have thought to look there. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's very interesting. I actually didn't know that this belonged to Indonesia. What is this island called? Is there a name? There's probably a name on this island, but I can't see it. Oh, is it Bora Bora? What? No. Bora Bora is not here. There, what? No. Bora Bora is out in, like, French Polynesia. But still, very, very interesting location. I got the country, which is good. Um, I managed to figure out that was Indonesia, but not the best round for a uh, specific guessing. But let's move on to the ne uh, move on to the next one. Tentener Gemeis. Rue de Brouche. Rue de Brouche. What? Tuntange. Naturlek ve Freyr. What is this language? That is French. This feels like Dutch. These words don't make any sense to me. I mean, when you see a mix of French and Dutch, Belgium comes to mind, right? But is this... Bouche. Hollenfels. Mergendal. Chateau de Hollenface. I guess this is Belgium? I'm going to assume this is Belgium. Wait, we got yellow plates there, though. Hold on. What? <laughs> Where am I? 
Ecole, that's French. Oh, could this be like Luxembourg? Let's go to Lux. No, but it's Gen 4. Does Luxembourg have Gen 4 now? I'm not sure. They might. Let's zoom in there. See if we can find Bruges. Because it's a really weird language I'm not familiar with. So uh, let's head in here. Let's look for this town. Bruges. I think that's what it said, right? Yeah, Bruges. And Bouvange. Oh my gosh. This could be a complete waste of time. I saw a yellow plate. It could just be visiting. But uh, we're going to try Rambruch. Uh, it's not quite... No, it's not the same. But that's a good good omen, I would say. Let's see him finding that in Luxembourg. But I don't see it here. So let's move on to Belgium. I think Belgium is more likely to have this. Um, that was my gut right away when I saw this weird mix of like French and Dutch. We got Bouche Bouvange and Hollenfels. Uh, Herstal... Hanut Namur Flurus Binch <laughs> Binche uh, Man Okay So This This Game mode is turning out to be Way harder than I ever thought it could possibly be I am failing Miserably Absolutely Miserably at this Um I mean it's never Switzerland right? No It's It doesn't feel like Belgium Like These words don't make sense to me It sounds like some kind of crazy French Cause I know French This is not French Um so yeah it's it's something in here like something in here definitely it's some weird mix of of languages that i'm not familiar with so i feel like belgium is not a bad guess but um i'm actually going to be really interested to find out where this is because it told me i know i'm in bush i just don't know where that is and i can't seem to find it so um I think we're just going to toss it in Belgium. Could be Luxembourg, like I said, because of the strange French. But I'm just going to guess. I'm not going to waste the last few seconds. It was Luxembourg. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me I scrolled right over it. It was in Helpernap. Okay, wait. Is Bruges nearby? It so my, my logic was right in that Luxembourg made sense for this really weird French that I didn't understand. But I don't see Bruges anywhere. Like, literally nowhere at all. I was in Helpernap. Is Helpernap on one of the signs here? Let's... I mean, could it have been there? No. Let's take a look here. Mer Holenfels. I probably could have found Holenfels or Bouvange. Maybe I, maybe I could have found that. And this says Tuntonge. I'm so confused. I don't see any of those places... Oh, I'm going to close that. I don't see any of those places on the map here. So, um, you know what? Oh, Mersch. Did I see that maybe? Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, never getting that, uh, very unfortunate. I have no idea where those places were on this map. Someone can tell me I'm a little upset about that one actually, because I had the country right. And I ended up guessing off into Belgium for whatever reason, because it felt like a mix of French and Dutch. And that's the only reason, but I guess that's what they speak in parts of Luxembourg. So, I mean, the country streak ends, I suppose, but, uh, you know, I managed to at least say Luxembourg. So I'm happy enough about that. Let's move on to this one. JVC, Philips, UPO, what does it say over here? Pentex, Swafe, Lahi, Tapiola, Abiteki. Yeah, so does it say where I am? I mean, it was pointing me here. Well, so that that's Finnish. I don't think that tells me where I am, though. So where could I see something? Likan? Pure... Piorovarico? Maybe Piorovarico. I'm trying to see if I can see anything that tells me where I am here, but there's really nothing. Nothing at all. Like, no text. Unless that was it, what I just looked at. Pentex Suafe, Lai Tapiola, Optical Brand, uh, Teki, I think that's Pharmacy, Coskentori. No, guys, like, I don't. I think that literally just means, like, no left turn. Uh, I guess I gotta look for a place called Likan. I don't think that's an actual place because I think that's literally just a store name. Uh, Toilet. I don't think we're in a place called Toilet. Ah, look, there's so many signs right there. Oh, no. Don't tell me that this coverage got, like, updated since this map got updated or was last updated and now the information is just not here. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm missing something, I just can't see anything. So I'm, unfortunately on this round, I'm going to have to take the L. I'm just going to have to go with Helsinki and just guess. I was in Imatra. 
Uh, Ukoniemi, Korvenkilo. Let's see. Did anything say I was in Imatra, South Karelia? Likan, uh, no. Nothing at all. So guys, unfortunately, that round must have been overwritten since this map was last updated. Maybe new Gen 4 Finland, that's probably what it was. Um, unfortunate, but hey, we move on to the next round. We got the country right, and we're going to go into the final round of this seed. As we see a Romanian flag for sure. Um, I mean, I see Internalor. I'm trying to see if what is it? Rosuli Turseni, maybe? Is that a place in Romania? That could be. I mean, I'd, I at least know the country. I at least know that it's Romania. There's a lot of hints to say it's Romania. These thick concrete poles with lots of white paint at the bottom. Very, very common in Romania. So, uh, so yeah, I think Turseni or Orasului, but I think Turseni sounds more like a town name. That's going to be ridiculous. If someone knows Romania and is watching this video, they're going to be like, what did he just say? No, no, that doesn't mean it's not a town name. That just means like local or something, right? Um, but we're going to take a look for Turseni and Orasului. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously this is Romania when you look around at these, uh, these town names. And I'm not scanning the full map either when I'm looking here. I'm just looking around the edges. So if you guys see it before me, please be patient. I might be able to find it in a second. Scanning is not my forte at GeoGuessr. And I'm, I'm definitely... Uh, I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not very good at scanning. Um, so when it comes to rounds like this, it ends up getting pretty boring. Because I just end up scanning for a lot of the time. Because I can't find what I'm looking for. But at the same time, it's not... It doesn't help. Well, see, this is Tursani as well. So I'm actually going to definitely look for Tursani. But the problem is, too, like, not only am I bad at scanning, uh, oh, sorry, I thought I saw something. No, not only am I bad at scanning, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I, I think I'm looking for Torsani, but on a map like this, when I don't know the language, it's so difficult for me to, um, you know, discover exactly where I am. And, of course, that's kind of the point of this map, right? Like, you're not supposed to know every single location. You're supposed to use the other you know, reasoning that you have, other GeoGuessr knowledge, to try and see if you can figure out where this might be. And that's what I'm kind of trying to do here. And um, I I'm able to discover the country most of the time, even that Luxembourg round. I knew it was Luxembourg, I just couldn't quite get it, uh, because I ended up guessing in Belgium is more of a hedge. Um, but yeah, this is, um, I'm looking forward to a Seni. Uh, if you guys have seen it, please let me know, like maybe when I hovered over it. It's very possible that I've hovered over it already. And maybe it's even smaller than this, and I gotta zoom in at this level. So, um, okay. I think I'm gonna call it there, hedging. There's, well, there's 30 seconds left. I think I'm thinking about hedging near Brashov, but um, we're gonna keep looking just for a minute to see if I can find this place. I hope that's actually the name of it, because if it's not, I'm gonna be pretty embarrassed. And uh, but hey, that's that's okay. Who cares if you're embarrassed on this series? It's all about learning, right? I don't care if I'm embarrassed about not knowing a small Romanian town name or not knowing how to read Romanian. I shouldn't know how to do it. Um, maybe, oh, Turseni, Turseni, oh my gosh, right here, right here, right here, oh my gosh, 4997, the very last second, how small was Turseni on the map, how far can you, you can see it from this distance, so, oh, you can see it from pretty far, not from this distance, though, but you can see it from here, but it's so easily missed, but there it is, small town in Romania, I managed to get it. So, uh, for that seed, unfortunate that the Finland round was, I'm guessing, overwritten. Let me actually go check that for you guys, because maybe if the coverage was... Yeah, because you look at this, July 2021, which was... No? Hmm. Let me try before. Let me try July 2018, and let's see if there's something here that could maybe point us in the right direction. Hmm. I still... Like, these are different, but I still don't see it. Oh, you guys will have to let me know. I must have missed something huge in this round, right? Yeah, I, I had to have missed something huge. And I know you guys are going to point out in the comment section. You guys are awesome for that. Letting me know when I miss things. Because I know some people think like, Oh, well, I don't want to like make fun of them because you missed them. Not tell me if I missed something. Because that's, that's something I'm going to have to improve on in the future, right? I mean, if I'm missing something, I got to learn how to look around better. Oh, wait. Was it on like a car? I'm not going to dwell on this round uh, too much anymore because... That Finland round was uh, a bit unlucky, but hey, maybe it wasn't overwritten, maybe I missed something big, but all the same, a score of 21,900 is not bad. I only managed to get the right city once, though. 
and on a map where it tells you the name of the city or town it's a little disappointing so um guess what we're gonna do we're gonna run this back we're gonna give just one minute rounds i'm better in speed rounds as all you guys know if you watch all my videos so we're gonna try one more round on a one minute timer get a challenge link so that you guys can play along as well and uh yeah i'm really excited to see how this goes because um, I, I know I can do better than that. I know 22,000 is a good score, but I know I can get the city more than once. So let's see if we get a bit luckier, maybe some bigger cities. Um, that Indonesian one I should have got, but hey, let's see if we can get some bigger cities and let's just get right into this. Okay, sip of coffee. All right, let's go. Val uh, Valga, one city, two states. What is this flag though? 1949, let's look around a bit more. Taxi, this is Europe. What? Where am I? Where in the world am I? Okay, let's use some context clues here. This is definitely Europe. We're driving on the right, but we have at least English on that sign. Uh, oh no. What does this say? Ilin? Like, that reminds me of... It kind of looks like it says Tallinn, but I don't think it does. Oh, wait. No, that's the English translation on bottom. Uh, one Lin to Riki or something. One city, two states. Volga. Oh, I only got a minute. I'm going to go Estonia. I don't know. because Just because Tallinn sounds like Lin, so maybe it means something city. I'm going to go in Estonia. Whew! <laughs> I got the country right. I forgot I was only on a minute timer. And here's Volga. I should have started looking way earlier. So one city, two countries. Valga is split between Estonia and Latvia. I did not know that. So Southern Estonia, I when it said two states, I assumed it was going to be on a border here, but I shouldn't have guessed near Tallinn. I should have guessed near Central Estonia, but I panicked. The only reason I guessed in Estonia at, at all is because I saw one Lin, and uh, like I said, the suffix of Tallinn. So, wow. Some insane deductive reasoning at the last second there. Got the country. Didn't get Valga. If I had had, if I had three minutes, 100% I would have found that. But hey, got the country. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's go quick. Let's go quick. What is this flag? That's Argentina. UBA. Um, Professor Caba uh, Domicilo. Caba. Is that the city? No. Ciudad de Buenos Aires. Calle Villamonte 430. Okay. So, we're in Buenos Aires for sure. We're at UBA. Can I find the city? Uh, Calle Villamonte. Uh, there's no way I'm going to find Calle Villamonte. Um, no shot at all. Is Kaba, is Kaba like a segment or like a little chunk of Buenos Aires? Because if it is, then maybe I can find Kaba and then I can guess in there. But uh, no, I think I'm just going to leave it where it is. I'm pretty happy with where I am. I mean, this Argentinian flag, big city. I mean, 100% is Buenos Aires, right? Like there's no way it can't be. Uh, if I can find Cabo, that'd be amazing, but I don't see it. So we're just going to leave it right in the heart of Buenos Aires and we're going to see what happens. But it was just over here, right near the beach. Um, what was that? Universidad de Buenos Aires. Yeah. Wow. Right here in the heart of downtown. So that's awesome. I got the city right. So far, I got one in this scene, one in the last one on a real good pace. So um, I think a lot of you guys will have gotten that that was Buenos Aires. That was right there. Huge city, one that everyone knows. So let's move on to the next round. Round three and one minute per round. It's going to be here probably. Oh no, this is Vietnamese. No longer has official Google coverage. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, okay. Let's just zoom in. I, I'm thinking it might be like Ho Chi Minh City, but I really don't know. I'm sure it says it here. Da Song. Nguyen Trai Qua Hau Chao. I don't know. I, I used to know how to like look at which part of it was the... Was the actual address. Yeah, one cham. Yeah, good. They took over for Google Imaging. So let me just take a look around though. Taxi Langko. I mean, this is just Hanoi. This is a huge city, right? I mean, it could be Ho Chi Minh City. I'm gonna. Mm, do I hedge? No, not Trang. Did I see something that said that? Kwang? Kwang Gali? Something like that. Maybe I just like hedge halfway through. Uh, I think I just hedge halfway through and I just pray. Um, maybe it could be Ho Chi Minh. Maybe it could be Hanoi. But I know it's Vietnam. Let's see. Oh, oh, Da Nang, right here. I think it said that, right? Let me let me make sure that it did say that on that van. Maybe it did, maybe it did. No street view image available. Did it say Da Nang somewhere here? 
yeah Danang right there it said Danang so I should have been able to get that I think I saw Danang last second right as I plopped it in uh in here but hey 4600 on Vietnam a country that no longer has official Google coverage is pretty awesome let's move on to round four the one minute seed is going great as of right now right now uh Botaville Apteek Pharmacy so I guess Botaville the question is that's Dutch uh is this just South Africa okay I think this is probably just South Africa so Botaville I'm looking for Botaville South Africa no idea where it's extremely dry here so we're gonna zoom in out here like near the desert um i'm sure you guys will see it so i'm just gonna click here somewhere just to make sure i get uh, a guess in in case i run out of time but uh let's take a look here looking for both of it i had phillips or uh philip philippolis philippolis uh around in a couple videos ago that was really interesting but uh, yeah i'm looking for both of it I'm sure this is South Africa, just because of the Dutch, because of the dryness. We're driving on the left. Everything makes sense. Um, the problem is finding Botaville. And I, guys, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have Burger Store. I think I'm going to run out of time here. Where was it? Ah, uh, it was much further north. That's not a great score. There it is, Botaville. Really, really small. I mean, honestly, I could have found it, but that's so tough. Even at this zoom level, it's not showing up. I was looking a bit closer, but... I should, you, you, when in doubt, you just got to hedge Pretoria, and it works most of the time, and it would have worked a lot better that round. I just thought it was so dry, but I guess this whole part of South Africa is really dry. Unfortunately, not a great score, but I got the country right, and uh, we knew the city. We just couldn't find it in time, so that's pretty good. We'll move on to the final round, the final round of the entire video. That doesn't tell me where we are. Taxi, uh, Taxi Geo Geo, we got WhatsApp. Mm, I mean, this feels like Italy, or, ooh, guest house, Albero Stazione, yeah, it feels like Italy, probably, but does it tell me where we are, like, Sapri, is that just where I am, that looks like a company, uh, okay, uh, we're definitely in Italy, I know that much, uh, seems like the Alps, so let's look for a place called Sapri, because that's the only information we were given, and let's look up here, let's just go for Sapri, let's see if we can find something, um, I got a bad feeling that that's not what this town is called just because it looks like more of a business name than it does a town name but hey if one of us towards it it's that's supposed to be what we're looking for if i'm uh, if i understand the map correctly but uh yeah not quite enough time to be able to get a good score where was i oh we were so far south we were so far south in sapri Oh my goodness, why did I get an Alps vibe on that Italy? Yeah, we got the country. Yeah, it was the right city. But, oh boy, I could not have possibly been more wrong with my assessment of the round. Let me look again. Th this just... See, this view here, maybe the architecture feels more southern, but this kind of hill... Ah, uh, that's not an Alp, though. That's a very dry, southern Italy hill. Yeah, I mean, that's just my mistake. These kind of trees, definitely not stuff you'd find in the Alps, but I was so focused on the cars, the hilliness. Oh no, that's my mistake. Not Alpy at all. But hey, at the same time, we got the country and we got almost the same score. We got all the countries right in this seed, thankfully, and we I think we found the exact city in every single one. It's just unfortunate that we didn't have the time to play some um, in, in most of the rounds, except for Buenos Aires. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. And again, if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe to the GeoGuess YouTube channel. Help us hit 100 subs. I mean, I'd really appreciate it. And I know you guys like the content. You've been letting me know every single video. So thank you very much to any of you who are still around. I'm GeoGuess. We'll catch you in the next one.